Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope we'll come back tomorrow. Guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is Eve's third birthday. Three years old. We got her when she was four months old. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, that's a fun fact about tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna do for it yet, but she will for sure be getting lots of treats. Like, I couldn't make up this cuteness if I tried. So I am ending my day today with some Brookhart project work, which is my favorite kind of work and I feel really good about it. I'm not gonna show you everything just yet, but there is a new design coming out and it was actually an idea that one of you sent us and it's going to have to do with Peter running at Crescent Lake, running club, all that good stuff. So I'm working on that and then also, I'm far away enough where you can't see any addresses, um, finally getting out giveaways that I literally found while we were moving stuff the other day and it was like, holy smokes, we never sent those out. So if you won a giveaway last fall, you're finally gonna get it. Peter's on his way home. I'm making some dinner. I'm just making burgers. Again, we're kind of going easy while we have visitors in town and also easy veggies. And so I just wanna show you this really quick, yummy thing that I make. And it's Brussels sprouts, onions, like, a can of toma diced tomatoes, garlic, salt, pepper, and then I add in some olive oil and I add in some balsamic vinegar and then I put breadcrumbs on top. I'm not even like, I'm not a green veggie person whatsoever and um, I really, really like this recipe. So again, it's just like an easy side dish, yummy, flavorful. Peter hasn't been eating tomatoes while he trains and right now with him being like, Oh, it's Peter now. In an off time, I'm just putting in all the tomatoes I can. Alrighty, so that's in there. I also put nutritional yeast on top for a little flavor. It kind of tastes like, I would say nutritional yeast kind of tastes like Parmesan cheese, kind of the same bite. And then like I said, the chickpeas that we had for dinner last night, we have some leftovers, so we're gonna eat those. And then I'm gonna make some veggie burgers. I'm gonna toast the buns and I have barbecue sauce. And that is our simple dinner. Peter was actually calling about Eve's food. We're kind of like figuring out what we're doing. We are definitely going to Katie's house tonight. Um, I'm going to look at some of her clothes before she donates them so I could potentially have some. Um, but also we just haven't like hung out over there and just like done nothing, caught up in a while. So we're going there and we actually are going to bring Eve. So instead of him getting stuff for Eve now, we're gonna go later. Oh, I'm home from work. But I had to show this beautiful, delicious looking food. Brussels sprouts, a burger, grilled, leftovers. This came out of nowhere. This did. I want to say this now, but it might have to get cut out. Because we have to let the person know. But who did I walk in the door and say who's running the marathon? Grant Chino. Me and Grant right now are going through and having him sign up because my friends at ACS switched my account over to the team captain account page and made a team that we can change the name to, but right now it's just under Team Brookhart. Wow, that's crazy. And he's trying to s sign up right now. Lizzie. Evie. We're doing a different kind of <gasps> night, and I know Sarah already said it, but we're here. She knows. Her friends are, are just, right inside. Just inside. Okay. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Look who it is. I keep forgetting Sarah started that vlog and I already said that we're seeing you. <laughs> I'm always like, surprise, it's Katie, but Sarah already said. Yeah, but she did provide delicious potato lunch. They're still really hot and delicious, and if you haven't had them, you should. Where are they from? But look at the puppy. Oh my god. So they look at this puppy. And look at this puppy. They've like never had them? I don't know if these dogs have never seen Eve with such short hair. She looks so cute. Doesn't she? She's that ass. <laughs> You're the last. My birthday's tomorrow. Yeah, Aww. she's an old lady tomorrow. My birthday's just passed. She'll be three. Oh. January babies. This girl did the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> I'm gonna cry about it again. In in the Lana Del Rey community I of the world. Like if you King remember, if, I if look you like remember, George Washington. Lana Del Rey is actually Ray Don. She got Sarah and me these beautiful gifts. 
Like people came together and gave them to Katie after hearing our ah! story. Yeah, I wrote out like on my Ray Dunn Facebook page that I needed the mugs and I said their you story. You got a screenshot that sent to Sarah so she could pop it, I will. pop it in now. I sent their story. I just said like a little bit of their story and the, how they called the baby Sweet Pea and that I needed the mug. And like all these people were like, I have one. I'll bring it to you. I live in Lake Mary. I'll bring it to you tomorrow. And yeah, they were just really nice. So. And the cherry on top. And of course, because we're the lit just piggies. <laughs> we should get on the couch and watch the whole season, second season of you, like we Ooh. did when we lived here. Ooh, yep. Yeah. And we eat the, all the chocolates. Oh, don't clean and potato wages. And potato wages. You know, wages. we living here before the last transfer worked last time, so. so if you want to move back <laughs> in. We gotta move back in for the next two weeks. We have five <laughs> bedrooms in our new place, so. Oh yeah, I don't think we've said that on the vlog. Mm. Katie's moving again. Next week. And we're helping move. Saturday the 8th. There you go. I think I've had this one. I was gonna say, have you had any of them? I haven't had this brand. Okay, cool. I've I was had trying this to get one. I was trying to work, hope to get one. I didn't bring home to share with Sarah. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say I didn't like it. I was like, <laughs> no, I loved it, and then I didn't tell Sarah I had it from work, so I had a whole bar of myself to work one day. Sorry. Remember when I? He was awesome. even so mad. <laughs> get him. You gonna get gay. <laughs> this is a cool brand. I all like the news and it's in that. It's just a cool, like, you know, trendy little container. Get back to humans. The hue as in human. Get it? It's time to get back to the way humans ate before industry ruined food. Very dramatic. Very conspiracy theory sounding. Either way, they're all delicious. My mouth is still salivating. I'm going to eat them all right now without the girls knowing. Hey, for all my New Yorkers, I opened up the lid and there was these two creepy faces in black and white. Apparently, the co-founders co own a restaurant at 14th and 5th. Marie F, can you hit this up for us? Let us know how it is. I know your sister and your mom want to go. Check it out. Oh, it's Union Square? I don't know what that means. Chicago for life. Sorry, it's not going to be super enjoyable. We did not. Katie just said this. We did not. I'm going to have chocolate all on my teeth. You just got to deal with that for a little. We did not save the best for last. <laughs> this mint. I got to be so careful. I'm like, I'm that person. I'm so worried about my dog eating chocolate that I like literally... I hate eating chocolate around Eve. Every time I get grapes off from the fridge, I get the death glare. I'm like, you know she's waiting for one to drop. You wouldn't be happy though. The other day I got a text from Dustin that said, the dogs got into my Halloween candy while I was at work and ate a Snickers. Uh. <laughs> oh he my God. the Snickers wrapper on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> was it more like? Yeah, it was her. He's like, he's like her, her face is all like brown. It still is. <laughs> so the minty chocolate tastes literally like a, you put a mint sprig in your mouth and chomped it up with, with some like chocolate. dark chocolate chips. And I would say that I like my favorite. yeah I like the raspberry the one the best. Well, no, the hazelnut's the best. The hazelnut one is nice. It's just like delightful. It's your everyday. Mm -hmm. Right, but like the the oh, raspberry was just like a little bit extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I like that ooh, one the best too. That minty one was yeah. not expecting that. I thought that was the one we had before. Don't tell Eve. <laughs> I'm snuggling with two other dogs. <laughs> Katie Lining still rocking a Christmas tree, but she's decorated it for Valentine's Day now. So is it a Valentine's Day tree or a Christmas tree? Also, she's showing us some British musical called Six. Let us know if you've listened to it. Yes, yeah, it's British. British is about King Henry. I know, but I was thinking of the other accents that I was listening to, but it's good. It's funky, I love it. Back when I was working at Abercrombie and Fitch, Katie's teaching us about it. Says, Come on, Eve. <laughs> Where are we going? We go Katie. <laughs> Katie's donating clothes and I get first dibs. I, I know there's some stuff in here. <laughs> oh, wait. I saved this separate for like so long. Oh, Sarah loves this dress. Hey, Christina worked for Violet's baptism. Like, it's a special a dress. Time. It's a family dress. <laughs> it is. So we know we're taking that. Yes, for sure.
just like made for you. It is an Eve size couch right there. Perfectly spreads, splutes her back legs out. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. That's my cute little angel right there. She knows I'm talking about her. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi. I think I'm getting cabin fever. I haven't run in days and I just really want to. But my foot, you know. I think I'm gonna go try and go on a run tomorrow. Plus I'm pumped that Grant signed up. I'm trying to see. I want Jenna to decide for herself to run the marathon, but definitely want her to do that because she's been one of my inspirations since she ran it in 2014, I think. So, gotta do some brainwashing. I think she'll do it without brainwashing, but I think that would be so cool. Do you guys remember when I gave Katie this plant before we moved out when we stayed with her, Eddie and Travis, for two weeks? It has grown so much, and she's kept it alive. Look at it. Got a good root system grown. Totally can go. There's actually two or three in here. Could totally go into dirt, but I think she's going to keep it in here. Look at that new growth popping up on there. Nothing like passing on the green thumb. But that's, once again, another splitting off of our plants. Um, are you ready to go home soon? It's getting late because we have a drive back. We don't live as close to this house anymore. This will be the last time you're at this house though, Eve. Next time you visit Katie, it'll be at her new place. Oh, it is laughter midnight. You know what that means? You know what that means? That means this little girl just turned three. Everybody say happy birthday to the best little pup Evers in the whole town. Sarah said she's gonna bake you a cake tomorrow. Dog friendly cake? Dog friendly It's a cake. fun challenge. Can, is it yeah. gonna be human friendly as well? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the one that like we actually have the ingredients for. I don't think, a lot of them have applesauce in it, but we don't have I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek. This is the sneak peek. There's more to it, but that's all you're getting. For anybody who is still wondering, Sarah still has to, because we're still part of the medical study, she still has to fill out these like little journals of how much medicine, what kind yeah. of medicine, what when did you take the medicine. I've been feeling good. This medicine isn't as like intense as like the stim medication. It still is like upping my hormones, but it's more so just like getting everything in place. Like it's not it's not as intense as the other one. So I've been feeling great physically. I've been keeping up with my meditation and doing yoga every day. And I found some yoga poses that are really good for your lining. I'll drop that like video in the description below um but i think i'm gonna actually do a couple right now before bed oh quick question for you mm -hmm. why is our puppy barking she probably wants the treats because she's now a birthday brat now just joking um after the appointment on the third monday say we're gonna go there and we're gonna find out that the lighting is perfect and we're ready for the next steps is that five days from then for transfer i think it's six so because they want you to be on shots. progesterone six days before transfer. So that would be last like Saturday, time, which would be good for my work schedule. Well, last time I went in, in my first, I was gonna say my first episode, my first appointment, it wasn't quite where it had to be. Oh, but and so we went be. back like a couple of days later. We need to get pomegranate juice. That's what yeah. we're supposed to get today. We're getting mm -hmm. that tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll go get pomegranate juice. But I also had never been doing these type of yoga poses that like, in, like helps blood circulation. You know what that's called? Mm -hmm. The hoodoo voodoo. The hoodoo voodoo. Hoodoo voodoo. We love the hoodoo voodoo. Yeah. So, less than two weeks from transfer for sure. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I like, it hit me today, like a full on transfer. Oh, there it is, 28th. Tomorrow's the big day. We'll leave a comment down below saying happy birthday, Eve. Today's 28th is by Ghost. The quote is What is not started today? is never finished tomorrow. I get where you're coming from. I think you could disagree with that. Um, because you could start and finish something the same day, but most most times not. So I, I don't wanna be like that, but, but yeah, yeah, I agree. What is not started today is never finished tomorrow. Ghost. Sorry for making that creepy noise, Evers. Guys. It is not only Eve's birthday right now. 
It is Trevor Warren's birthday. Happy birthday, Trevor. Happy birthday, Trevor. Trevor. Everybody put happy birthday, Trevor, down in the comments. We hope mm -hmm. you have a great day. Yeah. An awesome birthday. Wonderful birthday. So cool that you share it with Eve. How special. So we know uh, tonight was just another chill vlog, mm -hmm. but we needed it, and it was great to see Katie again. But this was just the calm before the vacation hurricane of Central Florida. <sighs> Because as you're watching this, the Earhart's, do we know what time they're getting here? Early afternoon. So when you're watching this, the Earhart's are most likely in Orlando. And then that's just the beginning. Then all of our other friends start arriving. Yes. So Can't get wait. ready for some fun and amazing vlogs with guest friend Awesome Express USA's. Mm -hmm. And just joy. Joy, pure joy. Pure joy all the time good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>